Hello everybody and welcome back to another Microsoft Excel tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use a secondary axis on a graph. So I've got some data here uh, and this is my sample data that I'm going to be creating a graph with uh, and what you'll notice is the average temperature uh, is very very small compared to the sales uh, and what this means is when we go and we want to put a graph to compare these two to each other you'll see that the average temperature is going to become a blue line at the bottom uh, and isn't going to mean anything to us. Uh, and what we want is that we want the trend between these two. We can see that it goes up over summer. So we want the trend between these two relevant over against this data. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to right click on one of our data sets. We're going to go to format data series uh, and then over in our options that come up over here, we're going to click on secondary access. Uh, and what this lets us do is it just lets us compare the two different data types to each other very, very simply. Uh, so you see we've got our temperature going over here, and that's referenced with the y-axis on the left-hand side. Uh, and then we've got our sales coming around here in the orange, uh, and that's represented with the figures on the right-hand side. Um, and we can do it with each data series. So as we select a data series, we can move any one we want onto the secondary axis. We can put them both on there if we want. Uh, although why you want to do that, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But um, let's just undo that. Um, and there it is. That's how you would use a secondary axis. Um, if we get rid of this, I also just want to show you how you can do two different types of graph on one graph. So if we insert a, a bar chart like this, um, so sometimes you can you you might want to do the similar thing, um, except you would want one of them to be a line and one of them to be a bar. So if we right click on this and click change series type, uh, you can see now that we can change this up to a line over here. Press OK. Uh, hasn't done anything yet. So what we want to do is just right click on this one change series chart type uh, and now it's going to give us these options down here in order to select what we want them to be individually um, so I want the average temp to become a column uh, and I want it to go onto the secondary axis uh, so again we're using the secondary axis press OK um, and now you can see that we've got our average temperature as a column and our sales as a line uh, and it just gives us a nice easy way to compare them um, you might it's, it's really personal preference which one you use um i quite like having these that show the the one against the other because it's it's quite obvious then when it's over and when it's under and things like that um but other people prefer having line graphs together so really personal preference uh, probably personal preference is the people you you're trying to present to because that's really what you're using graphs for Anyway, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thanks for listening. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.